What's up YouTube, it's Casascope. I'm back with another tutorial today. In today's tutorial, we're going to be just using gradient maps. Now, I'm going to be breaking down gradient maps to the very basic process of how you can change colors within Photoshop. We're not going to be getting into the very advanced, advanced parts of gradient maps yet because I want to show you guys just the basis of it and then as I get advanced, I'll teach you more about gradient maps and stuff like that because as, as we know, we're always all learning. So I'm still learning a lot of things, but I like to share what I have learned with you guys. So for gradient maps, I already have my mask all cut out. I have this picture of Jason Tatum right here. I got just him cut out. Then I have the shirt and I have the shorts. Okay. So what someone really told me to help me on gradient maps. The first thing that you kind of want to do on gradient maps is make what you want to change a color to gray. This is a very, very key thing that can help you out a lot when you're dealing with gradient maps. So if I want to uh, change this t-shirt, I'm just going to name it t-shirt and then you're going to go down to that semicircle where you can get all the filters and you're going to put a channel mixer on. So you're going to just create a clipping mask on it. You can just right click and then create the clipping mask or press alt or it's a uh, command on Mac, I believe. And then you're going to click on the bottom and just clip it to that. So after you have it clipped on, click on, uh, click on monochrome right here to select monochrome and monochrome is going to just make it to a black and white kind of mix, but you see it's gray and you can kind of just adjust within monochrome. I go down to constant usually because that gives me a really good adjustment. And then once I'm all, all sure of my mask, you can press alt again to just check your mask if you really want. That gives you your mask in a separate little little uh, mask, I guess, panel. And then we're just going to merge it together because I'm, I'm confident in my mask. Let's merge it together. So I press, I press control to merge the channel mixer and the layer together. And then I press um, control E. I had to check my buttons to make sure. Control E, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I'm going to add my channel mixer on clip it to monochrome and I'll make it a little bit lighter and then we'll merge that down. So I'm going to name this shirt and I'm going to name this, uh, I'm going to name this shirt and then I'm going to name this shorts. All right. Now, once you're here, we can get into adding the gradient map. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is just get your gradient map in there. So go to the semicircle once again, and we're going to go to gradient map right there. And the gradient map is going to be on top of there, but let's just clip it to the shirt right now. So it's clipped to the shirt. Well, you see it's white to black and you actually kind of want it to be black to white just so to get your eyes more acclimated to what's going on. White to black is the inverse. So we're going to go black to white right here. So now you see this bar that you have right here. This bar controls whether you want it to be more shiny, dim or just the mixes. You can just control the mix of black. If you slide the this color more towards that, it's going to be darker. If you slide the white, it's going to be lighter, right? Okay, so let's say you want we want to just actually pick a color now so i'm going to go down right about here and then i can just click that square that i just added because it's just going to pop up a square once you click down there and you can just pick a color that you want so i guess we're going to go with some vibrant colors right so i'm going to pick on that like purplish pinkish color i guess i like that a lot actually and that's really how you're going to get your gradient map in there now these sliders here they make it so it's like more metallic or more like matte or more shiny so you can go with a more shiny look or you can go with a more like matte look and see that that doesn't look too good to me so you just got to pick where you think everything looks really good but just try to keep it realistic as possible so that your your uh, colors don't start going all over the place and if you click and add a extra square like I just did you can press delete down there so I'm gonna go with that pink for right there and also a thing that you guys got to uh, pay attention to is when you're on your gradient map, you can select your own colors, but make sure that your, your cursor is on the actual gradient map, not the layer mask. Cause if, if you're on the, if you're on the cursor and you try to, to, uh, do a gradient map and pick a color with eye, the eyedropper tool is eye. you can pick colors. See if you're on the layer mask, you can't do that. So make sure you're on the gradient map then you can pick colors from your source or just wherever you want to be picking colors from. So I'm going to do this on the shorts now as well. I'm going to put a gradient map on there. I'm going to clip it and we see that it's kind of looks, it looks okay, but we still got to go black to white. So just make sure you're just keeping track of what you're doing when you're on this. And then I'm going to change the color to the pink that's up there. So 
Now I'm on my gradient map again. I'm going to go down to the middle, pick that color, and we have it pretty much. But I want it to be a little bit more white, or a little bit more light, I mean. So I'm going to just start adjusting just slightly. Whoops. I'm going to start adjusting my boxes ever so slightly. If I slide this middle towards the black, this white's going to be able to reach more of the color scheme because we're sliding it and it's a gradient. So that's pretty much how you're going to get that done. So we went from we went from pink or no, we went from um, our gray, our green. Then we went to our gray because you got to add your your monochrome channel mixers on and then you can just pick your colors, you know, like it doesn't matter what color I pick. It's going to just look pretty good and then you can just adjust your sliders like the colors not going to matter too much, guys. That's a really, really simple way of how you can use gradient maps in Photoshop. This is a really quick one to just get out to you guys because this is uh, definitely very helpful and it's helped me out a lot. So the person that told me about channel mixer on gray was Ryan X Design. I'm going to link his Instagram right, right up on the screen. It's going to be floating around somewhere. I appreciate you guys helping me out and then I love giving my information to you guys so that you guys can use this in Photoshop. So until next time, it's been Castle Scope. Make sure you guys drop a like if this helped. Comment down below what you want to see next from the channel and subscribe to the channel. Stay scope, y'all. I'm out. Peace.